the blessed isles 1022 years ago That music's so sad. That guy's face is so sad. Oh. oh no, is something gonna grab her? Oh? The hell? Ah, something's gonna grab her. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> I think he's struggling to process what just happened. Holy crap. Jesus. How did they manage to make like a minute long cinematic so depressing? Wow. Shadow Isles, present day. Oh, so that explosion turned this whole area into the Shadow Isles. And there it is, dude. The sword in the stone. How's this? That's a mighty fine mustache. Dude, that looks sick. Cat girls. Jeez, are those coffins? Ah, oh, jeez, it really is. Wow. Wait, so there wasn't a single word uttered in that intro. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing those are like the main characters in the game or something. Okay. Here we go. Dude, I love this. I love it. I don't so much love the uh, coffins in the water. It's an interesting take on a graveyard. Okay. Let's make sure everything's good. Large subtitles, it's fine. Black behind. This is all good. Colorblind I should probably put on. I'm not going to. Okay. Let's go. Let's see what this game's all about. Yeah, dude. So, I want to just actually start by saying the main reason I jumped into this, because it may seem like it's coming a little out of left field here, Lumen in a League of Legends game, is because I really appreciate the world building that they do in League of Legends. And this whole world of, I think it's called Runeterra, is fascinating. I just started watching Arcane, the series, and I had obviously before that sort of tinkered in uh, teamfight tactics, and I think way back during beta I tried out Legends of Runeterra, and like everything they do with their world and the cool characters and stuff and the areas and all that stuff, it just seems so great. And I'd love to jump into it and, and just experience more of it and maybe actually learn something about it, because I've already forgotten everything I learned in League of Legends. Uh, so <laughs> the, one, the one session I played, so we're gonna jump in and we're just gonna see what's up, you know? This is a new game and it's a turn-based RPG, so it's much more my kind of thing. 
Now I've got my controller here, which I think might be preferable, but we're going to see how it feels with mouse and keyboard first. Story, normal, veteran, heroic. So, enjoy the story of the game with a mild challenge. Combat encounters can be skipped for a more casual experience. Standard difficulty balance for a moderate challenge. Great if you are new to turn-based role-playing games. Enemies are more difficult. And if you need to dive into your full set of abilities to succeed. Okay. Good for classic turn-based RPG fans that want more challenging combat encounters. Enemies are very difficult in the combat encounters. And they'll put your abilities and resources to the test. Yeah, uh, listen, I'll go normal. Begin a new game on normal difficulty. I'm not ashamed to say I'm happy with normal difficulty. <laughs> oh, you can change it. Yeah, let's go. Dude, the art is so good. It's so good. In Bilgewater, monsters are real. When I was a girl, my mother was murdered by a low-life coward named Gangplank. He shot me and left me for dead. There was no trial. In Bilgewater, he was the law. I hunted him. I killed his men. I watched Gangplank die, washed away on the burning tide. Is this Jaina Proudmoore? Like, it sounds like Jaina Proudmoore to me. I don't know. But there are it still monsters about. Makes me happy. She's got a great voice. For centuries, the Buru people have protected these islands from the worst of them. But even they fear the heralds. Attacks in the form of a lethal black mist, courtesy of our unliving neighbors on the Shadow Isles. Each time, the heroines return stronger, while the Buru grow distant. How long do we rely on prayers and magic? Okay. My monsters are flesh and blood. They don't frighten me. Only one thing does. Becoming one of them. I like the art style. It's, it's pretty sick. Yo, Silver. Kratzel. Hi, nice to see you. I'm going to try mouse and keyboard first. If it sucks, I'll switch to controller. I'm happy to game on the mouse and keyboard. Looks almost quiet from up here. That cinematic style reminds you of Torchlight 2? Dude, the graphic style reminds me of Torchlight 2. If only I didn't know better. Misfortune. Okay, so we're playing pre-made characters. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Good morning, Captain. Your guest has arrived. Raffin, remember when we could just take what we wanted? Go where we wanted? We didn't have a care in the world. Tier 2 subs expect veteran or above. <laughs> uh, tier 2 subs should know better. Now look at us. Taking appointments. Attempting diplomacy. Dude, she even has like a feel of China to her. Like there's something about it. It's like an air of proud moor. Well, at least our line of diplomacy still involves guns. It does remind me of Thronebreaker as well. Yeah, Silver. Wow, nice picking up on that. That may be true. But when he was relooking, <laughs> Gangplank only used guns. Hey, listen, I want to say quickly, at least it's a beloved series. So nothing's going to go wrong, right? It can't possibly suck. <laughs> if I unite the gangs with violence, will the city uh. still think of me as a savior? Gangplank was a tyrant, Sarah. You're tough, but you aren't cruel. I'm proud to be your first mate, and the rest of the crew is proud to call you our captain. The gangs will follow you. It's only a matter of time. They can't follow me if they're dead. Hopefully I can change their minds before they're all wiped out. It's definitely Jaina, right? There's no cards in this game. No, come back. Don't leave. There's no cards. Some dogs won't obey. Until you show him the stick. Well then, let's not keep Captain Thorne waiting any longer. Can I play the game now? Yo, Rusted Ground, it is Laura Bailey. Ooh. 
How do we move? Okay. WASD. What is this? Wait, what? I thought it was turn back. Mm, okay. I, I, mean, I mean, this really does feel like a controller game. Scan environment? Yo, rusted ground. Thank you so much for the 20 months, man. I appreciate that. What? How do I scan environment? Okay. There's something. Okay, this is really weird. Hmm. Can I go faster? We're moving a little sluggishly. I never did finish that letter. Oh god. No rest for the weary. Thank you, Rusted Ground. I appreciate it. It's nice to see you. Yo. Can I, so why can I shoot? It's actually one. Oh, I can right click to move. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. Wow. Why am I looting my own place? I, I assume this is my own place, right? Is that me? Phew. Shit. Jesus. Well, who do we hate now? Captain. Hello? Still got the bullets in my chest. Killing Gangplank wasn't enough, Rathen. But you beat him. You're still breathing. And he's in little pieces all over the bottom of the ocean. Those bullets are just little reminders. I wish they didn't remind me so damn much. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you know IRL, I've randomly searched places for money to do things? Well, yeah, of course! What? That doesn't make this realistic, it just makes it relatable for me. I don't know about you guys. Nothing to report, Captain. I'm trying to decide if I want to switch to the controller. I, it's okay so far. I'm, I'm like, I'm interested. I'm, I'm okay. Q, no buffs. And M. Would you like to view a tutorial on how to use this menu? Sure. The district map displays the layout of districts in its key points of interest. This is not a video! While exploring, chests, rest points, vendors, and other interactables will be discovered and marked on the map. At any time, you can navigate to the region map to get a better look at the surrounding districts. You may freely navigate between district maps that you have discovered while exploring. That was it? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. This is kind of cool. I mean, I like how it feels and I love how it looks, man. Huh. Oh! Some men don't want fair and nice. They like Gangplank's way. In the years Gangplank's been gone, many people have been getting rich. Gangplank was unpredictable. That's how it kept us in line. Constant threat of violence. With fortune, you know where they stand. What? Oh my god. Dude, it's too fast. I can't read that fast. In Noxus, we would have thrown Gangplank into the arena. Would have been more fun. It's just flavor text. Folks near the Black Mist, but me... Fear the Black Mist, but me... Dude, the, t the font is hard for me to read. I don't know why. Okay. This is very torchlight. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna map... I'm gonna go in here. I think it's a. Did it just crash? No, it didn't. I think it's a. <laughs> it froze. Our objective is in here. Hey, look at this big guy. Nah, dude, it's more. It's less hashtag homeschool than more hashtag dyslexic. I don't know when fonts have twirlies and frills on them, then it just throws you off completely. If, it, if you can't read something at a glance, then you just stop trying. Who's this guy? I see you've been doing some remodeling. Jesus, that's a loud outfit. What can I say? The place needed a woman's touch. 
I don't think the previous owner would mind. Dude, she looks determined. Guess not. Seeing as how you gunned him down, along with the rest of the conclave. Are you here to parlay, Captain Thorne, or to criticize my sense of decor? I trust you've considered my offer. Offer? <laughs> Hand over my operations to you, my fleet and all of my men, or else... Huh. Misfortune. You may have killed Gangplank, stolen his fancy manor, but that don't make you my queen. Are we gonna kill it? Oh, it's a fight, dude. Here we go. Yes! From Just the I'm two standing, of us? It looks like Bilgewater is still up for grabs. Now give it up, girl. You know I'd hate to ruin that pretty face. How do they make someone so interesting looking in the tutorial fight? So much for diplomacy. You know, Raffin? I think I'm starting to enjoy it. Oh, here we go! Oh, hell yes! Look at this! Wait, what? Multi-wave battle. I was about to say. Okay, combat basics. You'll initiate a combat encounter when engaging with enemies in the world and at major story moments. Fighter card. Okay, there are cards. Display key stats such as level, health, and mana. Oh, okay, no, it's not a card. Guys, calm down. It's not an actual card. It's just the statistic display. It's not a card! The initiative bar displays the order in which the fighters will perform actions when a fighter's portrait reaches the front of the initiative bar to their turn. When it's your fighter's turn, you can perform one of many action abilities. Instant abilities do not cost mana and are performed immediately after confirming a target. Lane abilities, what? Cost mana and require co time to cost. Pay attention to the fighter turn order when selecting abilities. Complete this wave of combat by defeating all enemies. Love tap, fancy footwork. Let's let's love tap someone. We can select either one. I find it weird how they have E and click as the same thing. Oh my god. That's like nothing, dude. Are we dead? Do I go again? I mean, what's a lane ability? Oh, shit. 124, 69... 150 if the target has tapped deal 240. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna tap both of them. And then we're gonna cast the big one. Why are they skipping their turns? Oh I guess it's a it's a tutorial, right? Heartbreaker. 20 Dude, the animations are sick. Wow. What the hell? That's sick. I thought it would hit them both. So that's my bad. Oh, you can increase the combat speed. Inspect mode. And quick strike. I don't know what that even means. Oh, it's the boss now. Generate overcharge by performing certain instant abilities. Overcharge acts like temporary bonus mana that can be used to cast lane abilities during that encounter only. When you're low on mana, generate overcharge and stay in the fight. Reduce all damage taken. Increase evasion. Hey! Why is that not popping up? Yo! So now I'm the buffed! Thank you so much for the host in the raid. I don't know why it didn't pop up. It's probably gonna pop up in like 20 minutes time. <laughs> I appreciate the host in the raid, man. Hey, I hope you had a fantastic time playing New World. Thank you, thank you. I'm not playing on easy. What are you guys talking about? Tap this guy. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys had a good stream. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Hello, hello, hello. I, I, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm going to just recommend, I just opened your stream quickly, that's why it lagged. I'm going to recommend Sona and the buff to you guys, as someone you can go and check out. The channel link is right there in chat. Thank you so much for the shout out, Dave. Go do it, guys. Go do it. Thank you, Sona. I appreciate it. One of the best streams you ever had? Dude, congrats. That's awesome. Did you have fun in, in New World? 
I, I hate to like, you know, bring it up really, but like, is he tapped? Let's just make sure we know if he has tapped. But I see there's been some stuff going on. How do I inspect? So, there we go. Unload, tapped, recently damaged by tapped. Okay. Let's use this ability. Heartbreaker. Boom. Big damage coming up. Uh, I, I just saw that New World had a lot of um, hardcore stuff going on in it. Like with the dupes and then the entire trading and economy shutdown of the game and all sorts of stuff like that. But I guess if you're just playing the game for fun and you and you just, you know, in it for a good time, that kind of stuff wouldn't bother you. Anyway, what up? Yo, Preacher, nice to see you. Greetings. Spartan, hi. Super good stream. Good. Good. Cool. I knew it. I knew it. Hey, thank you so much. Now I get to say thanks again. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll consider this your formal surrender. Oh, we didn't kill him. Yeah, so we just started. I can't say whether the game's good or not. I will just be able to tell you that I bumped my knee. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can also tell you that it's set in the League of Legends world. It's a turn-based RPG. And that's about it. We started only a few minutes ago. It seems pretty cool. It seems pretty cool. Yeah. It's not free. No, <laughs> it's not free. It costs real-world money to get into. The Syndicate will never follow you. You hear me, tyrant? I'll die. Did he speak for the entire syndicate? I see. How about you boys? Does your captain speak for you all? <laughs> nah, dude. Well then, Captain Thorn. I'd say this meeting is adjourned. Whoa! Shit! Okay. The rest of you, welcome to my crew. Prove yourselves loyal and you'll be rewarded. I like that guy. Betray me, or even whisper the name Gangplank, and I'll stuff you in a box with your former captain. Yes, Captain. Jeez. Dude, nice. I like it. So we, we know something about our character. She's ruthless. Another successful recruitment. Minus a few stubborn holdouts, the Syndicate's with us now. Their ships... Their guns. But none of their leaders. But if they all did, what does it matter? Not yet. Even if I have to put a bullet in every captain from the shipyards to the slaughter docks, I will make them understand. Bilgewater belongs to Sarah Fortune. Is that a name drop that no one knew before? I'm assuming she's like a League of Legends dude, right? I don't know, the name does sound familiar. I just didn't know if her first name was actually available. It's misfortune. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Later that night. Here we go. Ah, oh, dude, it looks so nice. Rathen? Of course, dude, of course. The hell? Who's this? Mist Walker Sailor. Lane switching, beware. Enemy has a buff called Primed Mist Bomb that will detonate and hurt you and your party upon death unless it's first disarmed with the speed lane ability. What? When selecting lane abilities, you can switch from the default balance lane to the speed lane or power lane using lane up or lane down buttons. Performing an ability in the speed lane will reduce its cast time and can be performed more quickly but with a weaker impact. An ability in the power lane will increase the cast time, take longer to perform, but stronger impact. Pay attention to each enemy's mechanics and use lane switching to gain the upper hand during combat. Poison. So, she has a buff, they said. Primed Mist Bomb on death deals heavy damage to all champions. A speed lane attack will disarm the bomb. Okay, how do I switch lanes? Lane. Do I have to use abilities? They said lane switch. No! I did not mean to do that. I accidentally quick attacked, I think? Oh well. Don't forget your turn signal. <laughs> ah! Oh no. Please. Please. Honesty. Okay, so a speed lane attack. 
Why can't I? Inspect mode, combat speed one, flee. How the hell am I not figuring out how to change lanes? Here we go. Okay. Randomly. But balance lane. Oh, here we go. Mouse wheel. I'm in the balance lane. What's the top one? Speed lane. Okay, here we go. Dude, this is complex. It's kind of hidden. <laughs> Do I have a million or a billion health, Mr. Easy? <laughs> I've got enough, that's for sure. I have not died yet. Okay, got some experience. The Black Mist. How is this possible? So we know about the Black Mist. It was that skeletal figure who... I guess pulled the sword from the stone. Fight the mist and find survivors. Okay. Let's go. I'm not going to check the options menu now. I'll wing it. Until it can't be wung anymore. Yo, Blackneck, what up? Nice to see you. Poison Mist. Hazards. You've entered a combat encounter with a stand-in hazard called Poison Mist. This has created a hazard initiative bar region that will travel along with the fighter portraits. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. It seems pretty complex. Fighters in your party that are inside the region will be targeted. Once the region reaches the front of the bar, it'll apply its effects to any of your fighters that are currently targeted. Luckily, you can use lane abilities to switch lanes and maneuver in and out of the initiative bar regions. Take control of your fighter placement on the initiative bar and take control of the battle. Okay, okay, okay. Which one am I again? Where am I on the bar right now? Is this me over here? I'm next up. There we go. Okay. It seems to be in all of the lanes. So let's just say it doesn't really matter where I go right now. It seems to be in all three, right? It is good that they gave me a bazillion health. I would not have made it otherwise. You're right. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a regular attack in an instant. How much health does this guy? One twenty-two. Tapped. I think if I shoot each of them once. Poison hazard missed. Dude, I couldn't switch, right? You can select a healing potion from the potion bag to recover health. Okay. Combat will end in defeat if your entire party's health reaches zero. Manage your health wisely to keep them fighting. This is a this is gonna be a tough game, man. I'm just saying. I'm gonna do the lane attack of let's do power. And we'll go for the split damage. This one. No, this one. I think it's gonna kill I think it's gonna kill the ghost. Actual BS. Two health, dude. Two health. Are you serious? Two health. So, am I missing something with the lanes? These are the three lanes, but this thing is covering all the lanes right now, so there's not much I can do. Let's go for a speed lane attack. GG. Yo, Sticky Toss Squid, see you later, man. You switched from Streamlabs OBS to OBS Studio. Best idea you've ever had. Dude, yeah, uh, regular OBS is just way better. Streamlabs OBS, they fill it with a bunch of bloat that you don't need. I'm, I'm, I'm serious that it's just not worth it. So. Dead already. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't kill the guys fast enough. Okay. Poison mist, let's get out. I'm not sure why I, why I have that. Who's this? I'm not even supposed to be here today. 
Oh shit. What? I don't... Okay, he's level 6. I'm level 9. That's why I'm stomping so hard, dude. So the instant ones you can't do in, in a different lane. I see. And the instant ones use mana. Do the lane ones use mana too? We're gonna find out. I think I can just love tap again. Yeah, I can just love tap again. It'll be dead. There we go. It seems like you have to play as this character. It's a story. And they're telling you a story that involves misfortune here. So you don't get to pick a character or, or customize anything at the start. This is just how it begins. And I guess this is how it's going to continue. So health. There we go. There's another poison field here. What? Somebody help? I'm going. Oh shit! Hey Kratzel, is it fun? It's pretty cool so far. Inspect mode. Evented combat with a spectral wolf rat. Whoa! These enemies have the shift in form buff, which enhances their ability to evade your attacks, but can be dispelled with a speed lane ability. Important buff descriptions will be displayed in the combat interface. They will require a deeper strategy to overcome. While in the inspect mode, you can navigate between the initiative bar and the fighter cards to get details on abilities and active buffs and debuffs. Be sure to inspect enemies during encounters to learn more about their strengths and weaknesses. Why do I not get the first attack, man? I want the first attack. Shift in form. All non-speed lane attacks have a 15% chance to miss. Okay. He's got an on-death buff attack, so we need to do a speed lane attack. I think we're going to go for... Speed lane, random damage. That just dispels his shit, and it gives me a chance to pick which one I want to go for the kill on first. Hey, Wano, what's up? This is the League of Legends story. Ruined King. Is that the name? Yes. It just released today. So, inspect. He's got 65. I need to do more than 65. So we'll do a power lane attack. And we'll go for... I, I don't know why I like this so much, but I'm going to go for this one again. Shit. I actually wanted that guy to die first. He's going to do a lot of damage to me now. Oh no! Instant! Wait. He's dead. Boom. Yeah, we watched the first episode of the League of Legends Arcane Netflix series. We watched episode number one, and it was great. It was really, really good. The animation style and quality was, like, awesome. The story seemed really fun. It just looked good. Thank you, Captain. Thank you so much. I was thought I was a goner for sure. Where's Rafen? He was just here. He can't have gone far. Oh, shit. Thank the gods, Captain. I thought I was done for. This is going to be a pain to clean up. They came out of no- oh, I'm just speaking to the- <laughs> I'm keen to watch more of Arcane. No spoilers? Yeah, no, I won't spoil anything. It's good. That's- that's what I'll say. Biggest spoiler I can give you right now. It's good. I don't know any of the League of Legends heroes or characters or- I don't know anything really about the universe or the world, but I like the way it looks. So I thought- yeah. Ba ba ba, what up? What happened? Yeah, what did happen? A powerful ghost. Where's his leg? Run. Leave me. I can handle it, dude. It's just one. Yeah, so this is a turn-based RPG from the League of Legends guys. Seems pretty cool, man. Is that poison mist ever going to be in a different lane? Hmm. I'm doing fancy footwork first. I 
thought I was supposed to be able to evade attacks. Excuse me, that's not evasion at all. Now we're gonna do... Love tap. Oh, no, no, I need to do a speed lane attack, right? Do they have all the... Yeah, okay. So I'll do, I'll do lane... The one that splits damage in speed lane. I hope that works. Uh. Oh my god! I just hit six out of six random shots on the one. <laughs> what is the chance of that shit? Hello? Again. I'm sure someone can tell me the statistics. Okay, I dispelled both. That's not efficiency. That's not peak efficiency at all, but like, you know. Oh, they're buffing up? Now I get to kill them both. LOL! You're bad. 93 plus 31. Dude. 124 damage. Oh, but I can't use these now. I need to generate more. Okay. We kill this guy. Can I? I'm getting the poison field on me now. I wonder if that's bad. Yeah, they didn't make this very hard. And it seems like I just dodged the poison mist, but I have no idea how. I have no idea how I just dodged it. That's kind of weird. Huh. I'm trying to figure it out still. Okay. I don't know why we start on level 9. Sarah. They came out of nowhere. I couldn't. Don't talk. Save your strength. I thought we beat those things in Grey Harbor. Could it be another harrowing? I don't know. But if it is, we're going to need help. We're going to need a Lawi. What? Helawi. I wanted to loot those barrels. Brothers and sisters, a new enemy has risen in Bilgewater. The goddess Nagakaboros has shown him to me. Reveal him to us, truth bearer. This blood harbor ripper butchers men in their homes and in the streets. I can sense the fear. The stagnation he brings. We honor the mother serpent by restoring motion and driving him out. Praise mm. the goddess. Truth better. I wish to fight for you. I am ready. Are you? If you fight with everything you have, the mother serpent may name you worthy. If not, she will take your life. I surrender to her will. He's gonna die. Unworthy. <laughs> he is strong, Priestess. He may live. Perhaps, if the goddess wills it. Come, our enemy awaits. Oh, so the poison, you have to jump ahead of it. Or, or I guess, over it or whatever. With your abilities, it's not up and down, it's forward and backwards. I see. Nagakaboros smiles upon us. Nagakaboros. Uh, yeah, okay. That's a name. So, does anyone know if there are any League of Legends books? Like, how deep does the lore go? Do we know all of this stuff already? Why do you embrace this foreigner's priestess? The Pelangi do not respect the goddess or Buru tradition. Dude, I like her weapon. They make their own way. They fight to live. Walk among them. Learn from them. Maybe even have some fun. They have many interesting desires. <laughs> Sister, I have seen you indulge in their taverns. 
Do not be ashamed. Next time I will join you. Hey, one question. You'll give upon my might, heart, and soul. Is it single player only? Yeah, I mean, it seems to be single player only. I don't know. I, I, I don't think there's a multiplayer. I think this is more like a single player or story component to the League of Legends and the team fight tactics and the Legends of Rune Terrors or whatever it is out there. It's something for them to use as a storytelling mechanism so that people can immerse themselves even more fully in their worlds. They've got this new Riot Forge studio now that's just pumping out games left right and center apparently yo mugendai what up now let us follow the rhythms of the street i like what they've done here like so far it seems really interesting i did manage to get rid of the trash in my zoo yes i did here the men inside spoke recently of the killer we seek oh we will wait outside no need to get Pelangi stink on us. Yo, McCade, thanks for following the channel. What up? <laughs> More for me then. Hey, is it beta? No. It just released fully today. And it seems to be cool. It seems like it, it, thus far at least everything's going well. It's kind of crazy that, you know, there's a game studio that's willing to release a full finished product without much fanfare without early access testing for years and years they just released it <laughs> it's crazy I, I don't know. dude it's crazy oh elawi has joined the party roll healing damage defense now his powerful physique is dwarfed only by her indomitable faith as the priestess of the great kraken she uses a huge golden idol to draw power from the spirits of her enemies while restoring and protecting her allies all who challenge the truth bearer of naga nagaka buros is that what it was nagaka buros soon discover that Ilua ilawi never battles alone the god of the serpent isles fights by her side lawi's buru upbringing allows her to read and understand buru glyphs her dungeon ability tentacle slam damages enemies and allows ilawi to initiate battle with a tentacle already active jesus this is a lot of text as a priestess of Nagaka Buros, Elawi can both smite her enemies and restore health to her allies. Elawi's faith in her goddess is unshakable, as she summons her tentacles to attack her enemies and enhance her abilities. Using taunt, she can force enemies to face her head-on rather than attacking her allies. Hey. Hey. Let's go. Do I... <laughs> do I get to look around? <laughs> yes, yes, I think I do. Can I not? Okay, it's an invisible wall. I can't go up there. They actually just want me to go down there right now. Hey, what's this? Wretched. Yeah, it's, it's not free. You have to actually buy it. It was a reasonably good deal on the South African Steam, so I thought, why not? Yeah, I don't like usually mentioning it, but sometimes it's worth it, just in case anyone was wondering. I think it was like 200 and something rand here, and it's a lot cheaper than $30, that's for sure. <laughs> so, they know that we're poor here, and um, I appreciate that. Ah, the visionary, one of three. Diary, I finally made it to Bilgewater. I would cry with joy. I could cry with joy. The heavy stink of death on the tide confirms my dearest dream. The Shadow Isle lies just over the horizon after decades of questing the perfect vista approaches since childhood i've longed to set my brush to paint the rarest scenery in the world the ruins of the blessed isles wreathed with spirits and specters ripe with revenants i've traveled sheer across valoran and crossed the darkest oceans to be here my talent will be tested on that melancholy rubble my brush will master those wraiths the paintings I create will be contemporary masterpieces, rarer and more precious than a portrait of any Javan. Damasian, oh, any Javan, okay. Damasian uh, aristocracy will drool to hang them over their sitting rooms. And, twirl in my brush, I will walk into the halls of history. Okay. See, the law seems interesting to me. How much is Pathfinder in South Africa? Oh my god, it's incredibly expensive. Pathfinder 
is about $75 for the standard version here in South Africa. I have no idea why, dude. I would have considered jumping into it. The new Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. I would have considered jumping into it uh, earlier or a while ago already if it wasn't so expensive. I have no idea why they made it so expensive. You know what? There is something wrong here. The game is not perfect. When, when I Look, when I'm holding right click in to move, then I go with my mouse over the top here, then it wants to path up to the top path. So I should use WASD. Click in to move doesn't work. There must be someone here who knows more about the Ripper. Okay. Alright, let's go inside. Hey, long ye stink. Why must my people be so stubborn? Pelangi stink? Is that like the smell of humans? Do they call the humans the Pelangi? Look at that, dude. Is that a gnome? Or those ears? What is this shit right here, dude? Tab, character menu. Why are they showing me this now? Huh. Yo, who's this one? Ugh! I think I had too much Myron's dark rum last night. What? Okay. Probably a yordle. That's a yordle. Might be a yordle. Might be Pelungi. Dude, what? <laughs> you guys are like, okay, okay. So wait, wait, what's the Pelungi? Is it, is the Pelungi a yordle? Or is the Pelungi a human? Good. There can't be a Pelungi stench if the Pelungi is just the one dude in here. Oh, there's another one here. There's two of them. Check it out. I've seen creatures from the deep larger than a ship. Only thing that scared me was Gangplank. Well, now he's dead, so... The bartender. This guy knows. Here we go. Little man, tell me, where can <laughs> I find the Blood Harbor Ripper? Little man. Who's asking? I am Ilawi, truth bearer of Nagakaboros, champion of the Buru people. Nagakaboros, Buru people. I love it, dude. Maja von der Alme. What up, yo? Nice to see you. Greetings. <laughs> sure, lady. And I'm the River King, Tom Kench. Buzz off. I'm trying to relax. Oh, that didn't Perhaps work. Perhaps a display of strength will change your mind. Can I do that here? Sorry. I try not to get into fights with strange women in bars. I don't think you can make custom characters, no. I did see that if you buy the Deluxe Edition, you get skins for characters i'm not sure if it's skins for this game or if it's skins for league of legends but yeah so you're unworthy or just afraid oh it's the latter you see this sword i've run it through hundreds of men most bigger than you so how about you go on home wow wow oh shit i thought you would be stronger <laughs> oh, suck it, dude. Oh, good. Okay, so this is gonna be a new fighting style now. Dude, she looks cool. They will know me. End of the line. What is it? Um, beat it, punk. Yeah, beat it. <laughs> Wait, was that what it said? God, I can't remember. That iconic Hearthstone card. Oh my god. Okay. 18 damage, generates 10 overcharge, 50% chance to summon a tentacle. 50% chance, tentacle barrier. Okay, no. Lane abilities. Harsh lesson. Deal damage, cause all tentacles to strike. Heal the target. Let's do tentacle slash. Not my first fight. Oh shit, that's sick, dude. And there's a tentacle! Yo! This is our town, scrub. <laughs> yeah, beat it. Thank you! That's it. How could I forget, dude? How could I forget? Okay, I'm watching the lanes now. This is... This is... This is me. This is me. This is... Oh, God. That's them. This is me. I don't even know, man. I want to try this to see what happens, but I want to make another tentacle first. Hell yes, dude. Two tentacles. I'm going to use the tentacle so now. now. Puny humans. What? Hey, I didn't even do anything and they struck. 
Okay, here we go, here we go. Dude, this is gonna be a big one. This is gonna be a big one. Here it comes. Oh, there they go. What? That's it. Oh, God. Two, two, three. Come on. Come. Come on. Come on. Okay, let's go for a fast attack. Speed lane. And see if it makes a difference. Let's check it out. She's OP, but she's taking more damage. Oh, shit. She's only level one. Hey, that's quite a quote. I am a teacher. Bilge water will learn. Sick. Oh, she's only level one. Yeah, okay. They're going to teach us about level ups now. New ability, healing mist. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay. Is that all you have? I was just starting to enjoy myself. The Blood Harbor Ripper. Tell me. No one I know has actually seen him. Rumor is he stalks the alleys around the Warrens. They say he ain't alive. Not really. Not alive? He is skin like a corpse. Cold. And his eyes are empty. Like a body pulled up from the sea. A creature trapped between life and death. An affront to the goddess. Everything's pretty black and white to her, and I appreciate that. It's gonna make a very interesting story. He, uh, has a thing for captains. Find a captain and the Ripper won't be far behind, they say. Isn't Misfortune Thank a you, captain? Little man. Hey, you uh, want to stay a while? I never drank with a priestess before. Uh, what? <laughs> you break too easily. Wow. I mean, that's pretty rude, dude. Welcome to our humblest establishment. I tell you to make yourself at home, but... That's liable to do more harm than good. What is this place? What's it look like to ye? This here is the captain's bar, straight from the port. Men come and sit here while they lose their sea legs. Aye, our rates here aren't for the meager, so the riffraff won't be gracing us with their presence. Helps draw a more established crowd. Have you heard of the Ripper? Ah, who hasn't? As a taste for seafaring captains, near as anyone can tell. You'll find their remains spilling into the sea after he's done a fair night's work. I think myself, I think myself safe as being a bartender and all, though nary anyone can predict what a wild dog would do backed up against a corner. Oh, I'm going to back him up against the corner? Maybe? Maybe that'll be me to do it? Is there no more text here somewhere for me? I guess I just got some text. Okay, so I know what to do now. I need to go find a captain. Let's go. We had commotion. My new Peilangi friends simply wish to learn Burhu yep. tradition. Let us search the warrens nearby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peilangi is either human or like sailor. Are they part of my party? Oh shit, dude! Look at that! Space. Why do I have that ability? Very weird. Okay, map. Slums, warrens. But I want to look around quickly because there's a chest up here. Hmm. Hello? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Dude! Even in death, this creature's motion continues. It will feed many. This guy looks like he's Pandaren. I mean, I can see he's not, but... Gangplank's a man you could profit from, but never trust. While Fortune's a woman... I didn't... Dude, I'm too slow with reading. I'm so sorry. You can trust, but holds no profit. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's kind of sick. That the map shows the important stuff. So it, it won't show, and even shows the little books, see. It won't show things like the small little uh, urns and barrels and shit you can break. But that's fine. That's fine. Man, what they've done with the world and stuff here, the way it looks and the way it plays, is kind of great. Like, no complaints so far. This is kind of sick. Why does it look like someone's going to jump out and attack me any moment now? I feel it coming. Repairs in the warrens, not the slums. Sure thing.
Although I will say again, I do think that the controller might actually just be a better fit. I'll give it a try. Bilgewater Shanty Town. Hit an enemy with a dungeon ability will initiate combat. Oh. Are these dungeon enemies? I don't know. Like, let's give it a try. So I got initiation there. I don't know if that makes a difference, but... Oh yeah, it does! I will teach you what I can. Shit, that's cool. Hey, Dana, what's up? Is the game fun? It seems pretty cool so far, yeah. Turn-based combat. Interesting world to explore and learn about. Yeah. Uh, deal damage. Two hits. Overcharge. Oh, wow. Holy gotcha. crap. Whoa, that looks sick. Cleansing debuffs. Fighters can have special status effects. Buffs, positive effects, and debuffs. Negative effects applied to them. You can remove debuffs by cleansing them. The Buru allies in your party have a cleanse ability. You can also consume a cleansing potion if available. It's a bleed. Okay, so we'll we'll do the. Okay, I do it in speed lane. Cleanse speed. What just happened? Did it not? I don't understand. It's fine. It's whatever. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to try and keep these guys alive or what, but. Stand down. Oh, there you go. Oh, it queued, it queued it up. Got it. Okay. Holy shit, that guy's got a lot more health. Okay, we can finish this guy off, maybe. Okay. Heal a target and heal extra health per tentacle. Damage, extra health per... T uh, well, extra damage per tentacle. And then our instants are barrier... And tentacle slice. Slap. It's a slap, it's not a slice. I wonder if this stuff is gonna like persevere after combat. I hope not. The debuffs. Common scraps of leather from murk wolves used for enchanting. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh. Yeah, so I must try and strike first. Your defeat will be your greatest lesson. All right. Uh I want tentacles, man. Give me tentacles. You'll have to do better than that. Yeah, so I'm elite. It's basically exactly what you say. It's a full release, brand new game, and it's definitely aimed at getting people into their universe. You know, it seems like very recently Riot Games decided they are making a massive push to just be all-encompassing and I think that they sensed weakness from the juggernaut that was Blizzard a little while ago already like it was it was probably over a year ago they sensed weakness and they were like hey shit crowns for the taking let's jump in and now they've got this the turn-based game they've got their card game they've got League of Legends they've got a platformer which is apparently a rhythm based platformer which came out this evening along with this uh, they've got teamfight tactics and they've got an MMO in production. Plus then they've got this mobile game which is called League of Legends Wild Rift or something. So they've released a whole lot of new stuff and they're constantly updating it. They're keeping their support up for the games and they're getting a lot of people playing it. Then they've got the show that just came out as you just mentioned. And and that just like, it, it, it snowballs it so heavily and, and basically makes that 
they are going to just, from all these different sources, have new people jumping into the world, and they'll just have, like, an endless number of things to, to satiate themselves with, you know? They have a fighting game as well, like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat that they're working on. Holy crap, you see? I, I mean, I want to say this. I'm super, super excited about the MMO. Because I'm almost certain they're going to nail it in every single way possible. Like, I think they'll do a great job. They really will. It's going to be good shit. Are you even trying? Oh. I'm still trying to learn what's going on here with these abilities and stuff. Like the 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 action sequence bar at the bottom there is kind of it's still a bit of a blur to me. It's a bit of a mystery, but I'll get the hang of it. Ability upgrades unlocked. Can activate upgrades for Elawi in the abilities menu. How do I find the abilities menu? Here we go. Yes, watch the tutorial. Champions have a unique set of abilities used in combat encounters and exploration. Abilities used in combat will display mana cost, target count, and cost in speed. Instant passive and lane abilities can be upgraded using upgrade points. Select any of these will open up the upgrade menu. New abilities will be unlocked as a champion levels up, <clears throat> increasing the breadth of combat strategies over time. Active dungeon abilities can be used while exploring, and they do not have a mana cost. They'll trigger a combat encounter when they hit an enemy target. Triggering an enemy encounter with a dungeon ability will have various benefits based on the champion chosen. Some will even apply debuffs to the enemies at the start of combat. Passive dungeon abilities give the champions unique exploration skills that open up paths, secrets, and rewards. Be creative with each champion's toolset to successfully navigate the world and its dangers. Ultimate ability. Cool, man. So, passive... Buru Scholar can interpret Buru runes to activate Buru devices and machinery. I like passives. Spawn a tentacle every three turns. Would you like to see a tutorial? What the shit? How many are there? Yes. Ability upgrades can be activated with available upgrade points. Each active upgrade will apply an additive effect that will alter the characteristics of an ability. Upgrades are broken up into tiers, which are unlocked progressively as a champion levels up. Each tier consists of two upgrade abilities. Only one upgrade per tier can be active at a time. When an upgrade in a tier is active, the following tier will become powered up, allowing further upgrades to become activated. You may disable an upgrade at any point to return a point back to the total pool. Disabling an upgrade in a lower tier disables all the other upgrades in the higher tiers since they will no longer be powered up. Every two turns instead of every three, increase max tentacles from five to six. I'll do every two turns instead of three. That's sick. So you can respec anytime you want. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Ghostcrawler, who worked on WoW, was biased towards mages and he kept buffing them and he wouldn't stop. That was the main hate from people, really? I like that. <laughs> Shit. That guy was in it to win it. And he was obviously a mage, right? That's sick. John Delayo, nice to see you. That's funny, dude. What the hell? Okay. Did he really? No, but seriously, did he really do that? Did he really just buff mages the whole time? No. Here's another paper. The Visionary 2 of 3. Diary. Passage to the Shadow Isles is proving expensive. Bilgewater sailors do not willingly approach its shores. Treasure hunters traveling to the isles instead pay for passage to supply stations near the archipelago. They bring their own small skiffs and use those to navigate through the black mist to isles themselves. I've been forced to adopt the same process and to pay treasure hunter rates. The ship which brought me to the supply station, the Daring Darling they call it, cost me more than what I made on my last commission in Demacia. I'm spending a week docked here at the inn teaching myself to sail a small skiff. It's grueling work and nearly too much for my sheltered frame. <laughs> But, at least it's offering me some unusual views, trying to keep my hopes high, 
All will go well. That's the attitude to have. Shit, nice. I dig it. I dig it. Are we gonna attack these people? They don't look like they wanna fight. Doesn't matter, we fight anyway. Okay, okay. Okay, I don't wanna fight. Ring of Resolve, Weighted Brass Idol. We got items. We got items. What the hell? Is there an inventory? Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a tutorial. Okay. Would you like to view the tutorial? Yes. You can view all the items, loot, and rewards you have collected in the inventory. Items are divided into categories that can be navigated through the category tabs. The stat comparison grid will show the stat increase or decrease of gear for each champion and can be convenient to quickly manage equipment outside of the equipment menu. Some items such as potions and consumables uh, will be removed from the inventory once used. The treasures category includes special container items. When consumed, these containers will reveal a variety of rewards including very special quest items. Special artifacts can also be found in the treasures category. These can be traded to certain vendors for black market currency used to purchase incredibly rare and powerful loot. Oh, I have Mana Mooney. I think that's because I bought it before December the 13th or something. I don't know. Hey, Majo, what up? Did I play Let's Build a Zoo? Hold on, at a special weekday? You saw my vids on YouTube. And you think I need some help? Oh, oh, are you asking which day I play it on? Uh, I'm not sure. Like, I sort of just play it whenever I feel like it. Uh, if you do have uh, tips for my, uh, like, gameplay or whatever, you can just leave comments on the YouTube video. It's the easiest way, because I do read all the comments. I, I usually reply to them as well. But yeah, I definitely have issues in Let's Build a Zoo. Absolutely, dude. That trash was insane. But I'm getting there. It's a slow and steady process for me. <laughs> slow and steady process. Okay. The idol's extra weight can sometimes stun foes. What does that do? Oh, okay, okay. Can she use this? No. I guess this is not... She doesn't use swords, so... Okay, so the, the, the special treasures section has nothing in it right now, which is fine. Alright. Yeah, I think next time I play this, I'll probably play with a controller. Got, got. Up this way and around. Quest log. Would you like to watch a tutorial? Yes! The quest log will keep track of all your active and completed quests throughout the story. Quests are organized into three categories. Story, side, and quest, and bounties. Oh, oh, story, side, quest, and bounties. When a quest is completed, it'll be moved to the completed section of the log. All active story quests will automatically be included in the quest tracker, visible while exploring. You can toggle up to four additional side quests and bounties to be included in the quest tracker. Cycle between them while exploring to update your objective information and markers. Okay, that's cool. Uh, completed to catch a killer. We're just busy with that right now. If I like this, there's a game called Battle Chasers Night War that's similar. Ah. Okay. And, and I mean, apparently this was not made completely in-house by Riot Games. So, uh, like... The guys who made this made another game before that looks a lot like this. Is that the one that you're talking about? The tentacles have begun to rot. Is that maybe a bad omen? Hey! Maja, thank you so much! I don't mind if you write a wall of text for me. I appreciate it and don't stress the English. It's all good. I understand everything. If it takes a little bit of effort to understand it, it just makes it all the sweeter when I do. Trying to provide boons and trigger... What? Oh, effects for the next combat, I think they said? I didn't read that quick enough. I, don't, I didn't read it quick enough. But it's a shrine. I get the gist of it. GG! Yeah, Can Battle Chasers is the same dev as this. Okay, yeah, yeah. And same lead artist. He was a comic book guy. Dude, I can see that. The art style in this is fantastic, and it does have a comic book feel. 
After attacking the shrine, you were granted a boon, which appears as a special initiative bar region during the next combat encounter. Here we go, I get to test. Fighters in your party that are inside the region will receive buffs when it reaches the front of the initiative bar. Don't worry, if enemies make their way into the region, boons will only affect your party members. Okay, so I need to figure out how to do this. I need to figure out how to position my people inside that. So, first things first, the health on my party members is still fine for now. We can just do like a regular boom, you know? That's cool. And then... This will put me exactly... Okay. Oh my god. So, you can see down here, this will put me in it. And if I go back... And I go lane, and I go for a speed move. Look, that puts me at the back of it. If I go for a speed move, it puts me right there. And then I don't end up in it. Oh. Wait, so if I'm understanding this correctly, then this will put me in there, right? So I will get the buff. Let's try. Are you trying to threaten me? Okay, but it'll only, it'll only trigger when it gets here, when it gets to the start. So it's first this guy's turn. Let's find out. One health. He's going to be on one. He's on one health. Tentacles, take care of that, please. There it is. Oh my god, nice. Ah, tentacled. Hmm. I can heal us, but I don't think it's even necessary. I think we just go hard. We have one tentacle. We need more, so. Just like Satisfying. This. Satisfying. Hey, Maja, go well, and thank you so much. I look forward to your comment. I look forward to the advice. Hmm. So, correct me if I'm wrong, I, I don't know, I might be wrong, but like, in the previous World of Warcraft expansion, Battle for Azeroth, right, wasn't there an area called Bilgewater there as well? I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember, and it even felt exactly the same as this, and looked exactly the same as this. A fresh kill from the sea. Yet on the other side, she was saying that's rotten already. Hmm. Hmm. New Boralis, was there? No, but that wasn't called Bilge, wasn't it? Bilgewater. Wasn't it the goblin place or something? Dude, I don't know. I'm not gonna Google it now, but it, it, it feels like it sounds familiar to me. Oh! They were called the Bilgewater Cartel, right? That's a name I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not a place. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Right, right, right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's, so that's different. That's not the same thing. Dude, that looks so sick. That was not in BFA. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Dude, it's been a long time since I've taken WoW seriously. I'm so sorry. Okay. Warren's Squatter. Warren's Cut Purse. It's Bilgewater Harbor too? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I see it. I, want, I wonder, isn't there, so there's nothing I can use to like just get a tentacle. I have to use regular attacks. And just hope, yeah, hope I spawn a tentacle. And then I also get the passive ones, so. Yeah, I don't know, I wasn't so keen on BFA. Like the last WoW expansion I played seriously was Legion, and I really enjoyed that. I thought, I thought Legion was a highlight. I know at the time a lot of people didn't like it, but I don't know man, I enjoyed Legion. Heal all allies. Let's go let's go heal all allies in the power lane, dude. Boom. Sure. Damn. Slice and dice. That's a wow ability. Uh sure. Damn, nice damage. This is it. So now the power move is going to go off, right? Wait, what? Oh, there it comes. Okay, so we can still get another one off. Dude, that takes really long to charge, the power move. Here it comes. What? That's a sick heal. 
And there's a bleed on the tentacle. Okay. Gotcha. They did good here. They did good. So you can make the combat faster as well. There, check. I made it faster now. Back to the drink. Uh, I don't know if I need it that fast. That's a little. That's a little faster than I'm comfortable with. Upgrade point. Sick, dude. I'm going to put it in that passive again if I can. Is there a shortcut for the passive or skill menu? I. K. P. J. U. I. G. R. Q. No. E. R. T. Z. X. Tab. Ah. Okay. Right. Tab. Passive. Oh, so this requires... What does this require? The next tier is... What? I misunderstand. I should upgrade this one. So this is increased number of tentacles spawned to two. I'd rather take a hundred percent chance. Okay. I haven't seen no ultimate yet. Consume all tentacles, healing the most wounded ally for 21 plus 21 health per tentacle. And deals 54 damage. Okay. The squatter keeps to themselves. You're really hoping the game is a jarring moment where it just overwhelms me? I mean, it's obviously possible that that happens, yeah. Is that two different encounters? Multi-wave battle. I cool, scare, okay. I don't tire and I don't stop. Wow. Okay, I don't need it that fast. I think regular speed is more than okay. Multi-wave fight, huh? I like her, and I think that at some point we're going to have her along with uh, Misfortune in a party together. Because Misfortune said we had to go out and find her, right? Look at all the tentacles, man! So what's my ulti then? Let's check. Cool. Let's have a look. So next up is our character. Here we go. Oh, there's no ulti here. I don't see it at least. Yeah, okay. So we haven't unlocked it yet. Which is fine. Doing 47 damage cause all tentacles to strike the target for double damage. Let's try this out. On speed. So when is, when is she doing that? It's only at the end, right? Damn. That's a big ability then. Oh! No! That was her there! Oh! That was complete overkill, dude. I just want to make sure she doesn't die. And then I'm actually going to do a heal on the main character now. Or not. I mean, that's fine too. Man, they should have given us level 1 on Misfortune as well. It was kind of fun spending abilities and stuff. Like, it's nice. It's nice leveling up, you know. Smell of rotten wood and bile fills your nose. So there are side areas where you can like loot stuff and I guess find law and whatever, whatever. We haven't been able to speak to one of these yordles yet. 
Should I should I heal up, heal our wounds with a potion? Hmm. We've got a few. Minor. There you go. Probably a waste, but eh. Who cares? Do you guys see that? I thought I saw a, a body. I saw two for a second and it was just gone. Like a ghost or a corpse. Nah, I just gotta stop drinking. <laughs> nice. What is this? This beacon's light provides a small area for rest. What? I just healed for nothing. Rest. Okay. That's a save point? I wonder what kind of significance that little thing has, whatever that is. Okay. Cool. Please, oh, shit. Please don't. This is the guy from the intro, isn't it? So afraid. So alone. How's that but voice? Soon, Captain, you'll be crossed off my list. Holy crap, that's scary. Thing ever again. This is the guy. This is the Ripper. What list? Uh, I've never seen you before in my life. Uh, uh, I'm not even a captain anymore. I haven't sailed in years. Please. He's gonna kill him. Abomination. Face the Kraken Priestess if you dare. Mm. Killing you would be fun. But meaningless. <laughs> what the hell? No. What? Forsaken one. Do you think I am offering you a choice? He's just gonna run away or what? Oh! Shit! Hell yes, man! Blood they Harbor Ripper! Tested to grow. Reduce all damage taken by 40%. I wonder if, if that's the play right now. My, my, like, intuition is telling me that he's gonna kill both these guys immediately. Let's see. That looks sick. Damn, dude. Yeah, 290 health. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! What a cool move! Okay, so I kind of wasted that ability. I was right. My intuition was 100% correct. That is sick! He has a little animation and everything tied to his move. Just attack, because you're going to die anyway. Need more tentacles. There we go. Bleed and sunder. Okay. While you are here, you can cleanse me. So if I put it there, it happens sooner. If I put it there, it happens later. But it still happens before him. Uh, so... This might give him another turn sooner. I don't know how it works. I, I kind of like how it works when you move around. So when you go in the speed lane, look how soon it happens. Then balance lane, it happens sort of a little bit later. And then power lane, it happens even later. Uh, I think that... We'll just do the regular one. Oh my god, did I just cleanse him? I want to cleanse her. Oh my god, okay. It's, fi it's fine, it's fine. Alright. Uh, we need more tentacles. Just keep going. More. I think our max is five. We've got four right now. So. Okay, so cleanse again. He can go power lane now. Because it will go before the next turn, right? Oh, she gets a turn too. Right. Uh, one, two, three, four. Is it time? I think it's time. Because the last one will spawn by itself. So, go. Face truth. I probably could have done a power move there as well. I don't know. I'll check it out. Next time I'll try. He's got cool moves, this guy. Wow. Sick. Okay. So if I do the power move here. I mean, it looks like I'm alone on this. I don't know where he s slides into this, but like... Let's do the power move. Now we got five. No, you know what? He can play defense. Why not? Oh, he just gets a turn? I didn't see his his uh, portrait here, so I don't know. 
That's gonna be a lot. Yeah. Holy crap. Look at his health. Dude, we are way more powerful. He, he legit has no chance. You want to finish him with a jab, guy? Oh, <laughs> you are not worthy. Oh, shit, dude. Oh. What, did I just get three rings, or is that a level three ring? Nice. She's quickly catching up. New ability, taunt. Taunts two turns. 25% chance to summon a tentacle when hit. Has no recovery time. Hmm. Cool. Now face the test of the mother serpent. You will not survive her judgment. He's not going to face the test. What? Is he going to face the test? <clears throat> What did you do to me? Oh shit, he was worthy? This cannot be. You are found worthy? But you are a monster. <laughs> shit, dude, that's such good... That's the kind of twist you want. Goddess, what are you trying to show me? It's gonna make her question everything. The Shadow Isles. Oh god. Oh shit, it's him! A great test. Gangplank lives. So, sort of. Sort of. Truth bearer. Goddess. Help me understand. Priestess, are you hurt? How did the drowned one escape us? The goddess favored him. I do not understand. But you must. You are the truth better. The mother serpent's will flows through you. Perhaps you need rest. I need no such thing. Return to the village. I will join you soon. Ah. Buru Grotto. That looks sick. Truth. Welcome, Elder. I seek guidance. Jesus, look at these arms. Speak, child. Tell me what troubles you. Then again, look at those arms. It all looks good. I sought to purge Bilgewater of a great threat. An enemy whose shadow spreads fear and stagnation in the streets. Yes, such is your charge. And you do it well. But this blood harbor ripper, I tested him. And the goddess found him worthy. The goddess has a use for him. Curious, indeed. She's not surprised. It makes no sense. He is no living man, and the unliving are shameful to our goddess. How could he possibly pass her test? I have worked so hard to interpret her will, but this seems wrong. I should not doubt the goddess. But now I worry I have lost my way. My child, the Mother Serpent's will flows through all things. Only when we follow our desire does the universe flow towards destiny. Open yourself up to all possibilities and let the path present itself. Team up with the dead guy is what she's saying. <laughs> hey, Saf, yo. What up? Nice to see you. But... Have I misjudged her will? If this monster is worthy, have I been wrong about others? Well, how could she be wrong? If the test is the test and they pass and they fail, it's pretty black and white, dude. If I gave the goddess's blessing to those who did not deserve it, that would be blasphemy. Perhaps I should renounce my position as truth bearer. No, dude, this is just a test. Lowry. I will not entertain such nonsense. I have taught you in the ways of Nagakaburo since you were a child. You are strong, and the goddess's will flows through you. Trust your judgment. Hey, I want to say the voice acting is like really good in this. 
it's not like indie game voice acting. This is proper voice. I mean, they have obviously Laura Bailey there. They got like this is this is good. This is really good. But what if I'm wrong? The vision I saw, the black mist consuming everything. Something terrible is coming, and I cannot afford uncertainty. The goddess sent me a vision, but I still need more. I need her guidance. Only the goddess knows what destiny awaits. It is not my place to instruct you. You must find your own path. Mm. The stakes for Bilgewater are too high. I need to be certain in my course of action, yet I have so many questions. Then ask them. It is in seeking these answers that you alone find truth where others cannot. But you must also find patience, truth bearer. Hmm. Elder, I... Yes. Patience. I will reflect on what has passed, and hope a path presents itself. Priestess! Hori! There's something you must see. Oh shit. Docks Harbor, Bilgewater. Are we back on Misfortune now? What the? With his bare hands? That guy is huge. Oh, it doesn't look that hard. There's got to be a trick, right? That is quite a man. Whoa. She's charmed by him. She likes him. This is Elawi. She's our champion. Our truth bearer. Jesus, he's got a massive shield. It is an honor to meet you. I am Brom of <laughs> Threlion. <laughs> is that a Reinhardt? Dude, it's Reinhardt. Is that a Reinhardt? It's Darren DePaul. Yo, I haven't died yet, no. The Freljord. You've traveled far. That's a shield, dude. My men say they pulled you from the water. They showed me great kindness. Hey, Liv, what up? Nice to see you. Greetings. Walk with me. I am curious to hear more of your story. Nice, dude. It's a tank and a healer. He's gonna join us, right? He looks important, dude, and he's big and buff. What now? You guys can take that thing. Have it. It's on us. A great sickness has come to the Freljord. It has claimed the lives of many children. <coughs> Ram, it's really you. Yes. And look, I have brought a friend. Be brave. I take good care of him until I return. Oh, cute! Look at I that little thing. Rest now. Brom will find a cure for this. You have my word. Oh shit, man! Brom, you promise the impossible. Your heart is pure, but the sickness is spreading. For Brom, nothing is impossible. The Freljord is my home. These people are my family. Tell me. What must I do? When I was a boy, my father spoke of a place called the Blessed Isles. There, they possessed water, which was said to cure any illness. But Ram, that place was destroyed by the Black Mist. The Shadow Isles, they call it now. Dangerous, even for you. Who knows if that water even exists? Sometimes, a story is just a story. Rob will return with this blessed water. Then, think of the story they will tell, huh? <laughs> Damn, listen to that music. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, he lost his shield. Is that what just happened there? Huh. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. That's why he's using a plank. Or a door, or a barrel, or a you ship hull. The black mist. Are you sure? He reminds you of Minsk? Yeah, I mean the voice does, right? 
I don't see no... Oh, there is a boo! Look! On his shoulder! That's his boo! <laughs> That's pretty sick. That's cool. That's cool, I guess. I guess he could... He could be the Minsk of this game. Yeah. Yes. And I will happily do so again. Uh, once I find a bigger bow. In the battle with the mist, my shield was lost. It is very valuable to me. I will do whatever I must to recover it. We don't need to test this guy. He's worthy. I can tell. Elawi, we come with a message from Captain Fortune. We ain't looking for a fight. Well, what is the message? She wants to team up. She requests an audience. Yeah. She says... Well, she says the Black Mist has returned. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. We got a tank, a healer, and a DPS. This is great. What? What? Why is she surprised? I mean, we just had a conversation about the it. The Black Mist. It has returned. Thank you, Bram. <laughs> She'll be expecting you. Uh, oh, that's great. I know the way. That's great. My friend, it seems fate has brought us together. This is not your fight. As truth bearer, I love it, it is my sworn duty to push back the mist. Oh shit, is that her sworn duty? Yet, your arrival here is no coincidence. This much I know. Perhaps it is the sign I was looking for. By helping you face the mist, I may learn more of the cure I seek, and repay your people's kindness. Your desire is strong. I will not stop you. Let us see what Sarah Fortune knows. Okay. Brahm has joined the party. Roll defense disruption buffs. Blessed with massive biceps and an even bigger heart. Brahm is a beloved iceborne hero of the Fel... Freljord. He uses his massive shield to protect his allies and stop any who would try to harm them. In his icy homeland, sagas are sung of Brahm's deeds. But in Bilgewater, he's just another traveler seeking a way to cure his people of the disease that plagues them. Brahm carries a poor friend with him that can explore small crevices and bring back items to find. His dungeon ability shield stomp damages and applies concussion to enemies starting combat. Shield Stump is even strong enough to break down some walls. Strong and tough, Brahm is adept at shrugging off enemy blows. While Brahm is casting, he takes reduced damage. By using Unbreakable, he can draw enemies' attention away from his friends and towards his powerful shields. His concussive blow ability applies concussion to enemies. When enemies with concussion take damage, they build more stacks of concussion, and if they reach max stacks they and they take damage, they are stunned. Okay. Cool. Is this the first dude? Well, yeah, I guess. No, I mean, technically we had uh, an undead dude or something who we fought, but he was definitely like a main character kind of guy, but he didn't join us. Oh, oh shit. Ah, uh, I hope, I really hope that they're going to like stop us right now. Otherwise, this is going to be a rough one. I'm hitting back. Hey, I can speak to this one finally. What I wouldn't give for some Piltover cooking again. No class here. Isn't Piltover where the Arcane series is? Yeah, they're going to stop us here. Check. That don't look like the work of some errant maniac. It's deliberate, as if to make a statement. Looks like the work of the powder kegs. I see him come by yesterday looking like there was in a dangerous mood. My brother. Is this a side quest? This might be a side quest. Our first side quest. Terrible. Terrible. A man mutters to himself, looking at his deceased brother. Terrible. Like fate. What happened here? Oh, that's the damn question, isn't it? A man can be gutted right in the open, in front of the jail, no less, and yet not a single witness will come forward. He casts a glare at everyone around him. They're looking away. <laughs> Who are you? Name's Owen. Brother here's Alex. Worker's longshoreman. But last night, Alex didn't come back to the inn. Now he's here, dead. Who could have done this? Maybe someone mistook him for someone else. 
They didn't even take his money. So it wasn't a mugging. People keep talking about gang-related killings in Bilgewater. But I don't want to sniff around and get mistaken for some rival gang member. You look like an outlander. Don't you think anyone would expect you being affiliated? Don't think anyone would expect you being affiliated with a gang. Please, ask around in my stead. I want to know how it happened. Okay. I could pay you some coin. Oh. Alex wasn't the best brother in the world, but I deserve to at least know what happened to him. Any idea to ask? Well, there's that guppy Lenny near the bridge leading to uh, north to Grey Harbor. He's got his ear to the ground about most things around here. There's also my boss, Darren, south by the shipyard. Just below the lighthouse, he's familiar with the goings on in the harbor. I started those two. Shit, dude. Nice. It's a quiet day, no crowds. But that don't mean there's no crime. Oh, shit. Look at that. I just take this stuff. Can I? Hello? Ah, there we go. So. Wow. What's up here? I like plants. Okay. This is a stockade. It's a prison, basically. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So I can switch between them. Yeah, I can. The hell? And and he has a a like pet that can like sneak in to tight spaces and collect stuff for us. Is that is that what I'm getting from this? Maybe down below down here there'll be a tight space to send the pet into. Let's check if it works. Bunch of dangerous looking people here, man. Nope. Nope. Set an X. Dude, this game was made for controller. I don't know why I haven't started using the controller yet. I feel like everything about it just screams controller. Hmm. Next time. Okay, we're gonna go up first. That just makes the most sense. Are they like proper vendors? This looks like a vendor, one of these guys maybe. Fools like to say a ship runs on sweat, but we all know a ship runs on her belly. Okay, guy. Just a few more bounties, then I'm buying my own boat. Money's aching. Monsoons will be early this year, mark my <laughs> Good shit. Good shit. Is this a bounty board? A man, bespectacles, shifts and sorts through several stacks of paper, and one arm he carries a ledger, which he references periodically when studying the words on the sheets in front of him. He looks up. Ah, what have we here then? A champion in prospect, is it? Come to test your medal? Well, you've come to the right place. Before you stand the bounty board of Bilgewater, and I, Hugo, it's Stuart. Tell me about it. What else is there to say about it that hasn't been said? It's the cause of and solution to many of the troubles around here. There's no second chances in Bilgewater, at least not as far as the bounty board's concerned. People, anyone really, come here with a name and an endowment. That name goes up on the board and whomever claims their life gets the endowment. Simple as that. It's what goes on between putting the name up and taking it down. That's the real interesting part of the story. How long have you been doing this? Why am I asking him that? How kind of you to ask about me, the board steward. Almost everyone's concerned with the bottom line, he says, smiling. I've been doing this for decades. Forgot if I ever did anything other than this. I just love the order of it, the simplicity. It occupies and consumes all my time, keeping track of everything. And I cannot imagine doing anything else. What if his name goes on the board? Of course, I've been threatened doing this job, but I must quietly put the name of the person who threatened me on the board and it sorts itself out one of the perks i guess he says and gives you a wink yes watch the tutorial 
Welcome to Bilgewater Bounty Board, a collection of elusive enemies you must find and defeat. Must? That's a strong word. When a bounty target is known, it will be added to the quest log. You can search for them as you explore, and sometimes by revisiting all the areas with new capabilities. Once a bounty has been eliminated, return to the bounty board to claim the reward. New bounties will appear as the story progresses. That's sick. I'll take this one. Do I just have to find him? I, I, I just have to, a bounty's been added to the quest log. Malika, conniving opportunist has been kicking up problems around Grey Harbor. In stubborn defiance to Captain Fortune's will, Malik has reunited the jagged hooks and somehow manages to lurk among the deadly mists of the harbor. His swift removal would be greatly appreciated and a service to the royal citizens of Bilgewater. Okay. Sick. This is, ki this is kind of good, yeah. This is kind of nice. It's a nice little extra that you can do or you can ignore. The bird looks stressed and some of its feathers are missing. Okay, why would they tell me that? Jesus, that's depressing. Hello? I'm basically going the opposite direction of the quest right now. And that's that's kind of that's kind of cool, man. I like that I can do that. Behind me is the Bilgewater Gondola. It can take you anywhere in Bilgewater Lickety Split. Safe as a house to boot. The gondola, an efficient means of fast travel throughout Bilgewood, is currently undergoing routine maintenance. Come back later. Okay, that's nice. I like how the background looks there. What is this? Boat houses, Buru Grotto, Grey Harbor Blockade, Salvage Yard, Bounty Board, Slums. Okay. This way, that way. What about fenders? Oh, here's some stuff here. Okay, so I've I've looked. I want to go. What is that? Yeah, let's go over there and look. It's silly that you can't press M again to close the map. Biggest gripe with the game so far. Only gripe with the game so far. You press M, then you have to press Escape afterwards to close it. What's the region map? Would you like to see a tutorial? This looks sick. Yes. Region map displays all of the known districts that can be navigated to jump to the district map view of each. In the current region's quest objectives uh, is in one of the districts of the region. An icon will appear, oh, if it is, by the district marker. The district that contains fast travel points will be indicated by fast travel icons. As new locations are discovered, they'll be added to the area map. When, when you leave Bilgewater, you'll gain access to the ocean map, which allows you to navigate between region maps as well as special standalone locations. Ocean map. Oh my god. But it looks like a straight line. Like, I mean, it's kind of weird. I'm going to look at the ocean map. I'm taking the chance. Okay. Okay. It seems pretty small. It's good, by the way. It mustn't be too big. Hey, this is the Buru Grotto. If we are to save the Pelagi from themselves, then why is this cycle of violence without growth? Do I go back through here? I do. Here we go. This is where we live. What the hell? The city is such a mess. I didn't know we could just come here anytime we wanted. That's amazing. I thought... <laughs> okay. I thought we lived like far away or something. Greetings. Elawi. Oh god, it's the Elder. Play it cool, guys. Play it cool. Act natural. <laughs> I'm stealing all our own shit. Mm. Loot. Lowie, can we trouble you for a matter at the well of the Serpent Mother? I cannot help for the moment. I am needed at Fortune's Manor, but I will return. We will wait for you then. Oh, God. To the Well of the Serpent. Okay, we can't go up there right now. Right, we'll come back for it. Can I introduce Brahm to the Elder? Interesting question. Always stay in motion. Stagnation is the enemy of the Goddess. I mean, <laughs> okay. I guess. Sure. Yeah. True that, Lady Girl. True that. As you say. Indeed. 
Nah, the party is the party, I think. What just happened? You will find fishing holes like this while exploring. While in these locations, you are safe from enemies and combat encounters. Walk up to the edge of the water and initiate your cast with the interaction button. Once initiated, the casting power meter will display and cycle back and forth. Press the interact button again to cast your line. The distance you cast will be based on when you press the button. When your line is out, simply wait for a fish to approach the hook onto your lure. If needed, you can adjust your line by pressing the interact button to reel in gradually. When a fish is hooked on your line, you must reel them in by pressing the interact button and move in in the opposite direction of the fish. Many fish will put up a fight and require you to wear them out before effectively reeling them in. The outer ring of the fishing meter is the fish's stamina and will drain as the fish fights. The inner ring is your line strength which depletes as you fight the fish. Your line strength will deplete faster if the fish has more stamina so the key is to wear it out before reeling it in with the interact button. If your line strength is fully depleted, your line will break and the fish will get away. This is insane. If you can successfully reel the fish back to the edge of the water, it will be caught. Once caught, the type of fish and size will be revealed. Your records can be viewed in the fishing journal. In some cases, you will catch treasure instead of a fish, which can be opened to the inventory to reveal additional rewards. Collect different types of fish and trade them to the fishmonger in the black market. Rare and unique fish can be found at various fishing holes. Be sure to experiment with fishing equipment, which enhance your line strength and the ability to track bigger and better fish. This is super complex. You wonder if the battle chasers people made this because it's the same style and the fishing is almost the same. Yeah, 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 that's right. They did. You must equip both a rod and lure to fish. Oh, shit, no. Oh, shit, yes. I don't have a lure, though. Hold on. I do have a lure, measly grub. I found that out outside. Yes, dude. Let's try this. Was that too far? Because I see all the fish there. Oh my god, you can actually physically see the fish. Fish on. I don't know what I'm doing. It's not just... Not... What? Is that my line? What? Yeah, but how am I, sp am I supposed to use WASD? I don't understand. Do it again. But how am I supposed to press E and WASD? I guess I can click. No? Click doesn't work. I have to press E and then WASD. What is that? Is that green, green bar the fish's stamina? Oh god. What is this line here? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I think it might be... It might be... So that's the just direction. Oh, do I tap it once maybe to change it? I'll have a look quickly. Hold on. You have to go in the opposite direction of the fish. So I must go down now. Yeah. And I must go left. I'm doing that now. I must go down. But it's not working. No. Huh. Weird. I don't know why it's so hard. I'm obviously doing something wrong. Because it says there WASD. And the green bar, the outer ring, is the fish's stamina. So I have to wait for that to... Deplete. Okay, I'm pressing in. But she's not moving. Look, the rod is not moving.
Oh, great catch. Blue flame snapper. Medium sized fish with large canine teeth coming to the serpent isles. I got one. Shit. I'll try another one. I don't know if, I don't know what I did. Like it's, 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 it doesn't really give me any like response to 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 what I'm doing. Like it doesn't really tell me. There's no reward here. Get away! I thought I had that one. Shit, dude. Yeah, I'm still not 100% on this. Seriously? Like, what? Why can't I reel it, reel it in? Two small fish chunks. Hold on. It seems like you can just go for it. Hey, Tufty fellow, what up, yo? It seems like wh even while the bar is green, you just have to press the direction shown on there, and then you can just pull it in. Let me see if it works. Like, I think it works. Like, I can catch it just immediately, watch. So if I go like this, down... Yeah, you literally, you just press it and go immediately. Blue flame guppy. Small fish, blue accents, commonly found around the serpent dials. Okay, so I figured it out. You can just immediately... Jeez, that was a far one. You can just immediately go for it. They got, there's, there's a little piece up. This is, this is like, oof, man. This is oh, literally unplayable. Look up top right here. There's a little piece that doesn't have a texture. Everywhere else, it's fine. Is it not using my bait, by the way? Am I reusing the bait? Dude, GG, speed fishing. Okay. I've, I'll, I'll try one more. One more. The Dark Souls of fishing mini games. Yeah. It's a rough one. Come on. Bite. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Holy crap. Dude, setting records here. Okay, let's go. That's cool. There's probably a rare fish to catch there, by the way. Or like a rare item to, to fish up. Or There's probably something. Okay, so that's what it was. I accidentally just ran straight into that there. I didn't mean to. Oh, there's a fishing pole. Okay, so we got two fishing poles now. Cool. I forgot that I was even on a main quest right now. I forgot that we're trying to find misfortune. Jeez. What? Why does it say I haven't looted that one? Yeah, what happened to the starter chick? We're about to go back to her. This is stupid. Uh, did it not save? I just looted this. What? Um, does loot like regenerate in this game, or what's going on here? I literally just do. I just looted this. It can't, dude. It could. No way, dude. There's no way. There's no way. It's no way it respawned already. What the hell? That shouldn't respawn in a game like this. It's a single player game. Maybe it should. I don't know. So we're going to go meet the starter chick now. We have uh, two people you saw, actually. We've got Braum and... Uh, Ilawi. Okay, so I want to go this way first. 
and we'll see what's here and then we'll go back and meet her i think i think i'm overdoing it a little bit with the exploration but like eh, it's whatever it sounds like there's an arena here or something I mean, that's what, when I hear ch sounds of cheering and stuff, I just think something like that's going on. Unless it's maybe someone they're playing, maybe, maybe there's a minigame in here with cards. Maybe there's a card minigame in this. Shit. A guy can dream, right? Covenant taking visitors. Scram. He has wild, glaring eyes. Sure does. I think I'm probably going to come back here for quests and stuff, so exploring here is like pointless, so I'm going to just, I'm going to go back. Right, right after I look up here, I'm going to go back. Docks blockade. Browse where's? Yes, a tutorial. Vendors like this one can be found in various locations to explore. Here... Here you can buy goods using gold currency. Some items can be purchased in multiple quantities. Adjust the count here prior to confirming purchase. There's a new weapon here. Simple well-made sword suitable for young warriors. A tavern door that's seen many long nights and even more bar fights. Hmm. I'm not going to buy new weapons for people, man. There's no point, right? How much gold do we have? 1,000? Oh. I mean, the fishing rod might be better. But no, it's fine. While exploring, you'll recover, discover rest points that allow you to recover between encounters and manage your party. Resting and replenish your active party's health and mana. Eating a meal and resting will additionally apply one of a variety of buffs to your active body that can assist in the combat encounters to follow. Resting will respawn all enemy encounters. We haven't had any enemy encounters. Rest conversation. Enjoying the warm breeze? Mm, in truth, Brom misses the Freljord's cold embrace. A cold embrace? That does not sound appealing. The Freljord is a harsh land, but survival has a way of bringing people together. Telling stories by the fire, hunting Elnook by moonlight. Elnook! And the Buru? What brings you together? Truth. The judgment of the wicked. The mother serpent. Oh, shit. The sea. We serve the goddess. And she blesses us with an endless harvest. Hmm. Okay. Many of her blessings are quite delicious. <laughs> ah, <laughs> nothing brings people together like a delicious meal. In the Freljord, a mighty warrior named Olaf once felled a great frost serpent and made it into a stew. It fed his whole village for months. <laughs> now you've made me hungry. Then follow Brom's stomach. Let us see what we find. That's a good conversation. Cool. I'll definitely say yes to that. Hell yes, man. What is this? Never seen anyone come back from Grey Harbor. Oh. Watch. We're going to go back now. And like, obviously... We're going to speak to Miss Fortune or whatever, and then she's going to send us straight back here. It's a gate, Lumen? Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I had a deeper meaning when I asked, what's this? What does it portend? What does it hold for us in the future? What lies beyond? You know? Shit, there's a note over there. Let's see. Is it the third one? Where is it? It says it's right here. What is this? No, this isn't a note. Buy rumors. Would you like to watch the tutorial? Okay. Yes. This vendor will sell you rumors about people, places, unlocking new side quests in your quest log. New rumors will appear as the story progresses. 
Small fish. Someone has opened up an unadvised endeavor, lending money to the denizens of Billswater. Unsurprisingly, things have not gone as expected. Find his place of business in Fleet Streets. Little info is known other than there's someone in Baron's Rest that needs to speak with someone who can keep things to themselves. Her name is Renee. Rene. Is that Renee? Almost Reen. Actually, Renee. Renee, maybe? A woman grieving the recent loss of loved ones is in possession of a mysterious coin. She wishes to know more about its purpose. An anonymous tip about two building owners in the Fleet Streets wants someone to connect the dots. The first building is a mom and pop shop run by two of the nicest vendors in Bilgewater. The second is a recently purchased abandoned warehouse. Sounds paranoid, but speak to the owners of both buildings. Okay, that's like a bunch of side quests. That's actually insane. This game has way too much content already. Rest, rumors, bounties, vendor. I didn't talk to the vendor. This guy? The vendor stall, free of barnacles and corrosion, common to others in the area, is attended by a man with a serene smile. Welcome, mate, he says. Behind him, a bird sits in a cage. Yo, who are you? Name's Barry, he says. It's a pleasure to meet you. I thought Bulgewater was as good a place as any for a merchant of my kind. It feels good here. Look at the bird more closely. The bird in the cage looks extremely stressed. It's losing a lot of feathers. And whenever the vendor wanders too close to its bars, he lunges for him. Okay, what's with the bird? Oh, him. I found him on the streets. He looks very sickly to me. So I've been nursing him. He and I have taken to each other, he says. He speaks with assurance and smoothness of a practiced salesman. Contrary to the observation, the bird appears terrified of him. Oh, what the shit. You know anything about the murder of the longshoreman, Alex? Oh, is that what it was? I saw a commotion over there and a, a murder, you say? That's tragic. I hope his family's all right. What? He didn't, he didn't tell me anything. Also, this is really boring. The fact that they have stuff here that's less, I guess, effective. This is rare goods. It's green, as you can see. Uh, well, uncommon. And then the rare goods are over... What the shit? In the previous area we were in. I don't even know where that was. Was it here? Was it here? Dude, this place is massive. Anyway, the other vendor had rare stuff. Hey, Bina, I, I'm just a couple of hours in. Like, just over two hours, maybe. I'm not very far in right now, is what I'm actually saying. So I'm going to run down this way. Actually, let's just go. Okay, I'm going to speak to Miss Fortune. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. We have a side quest. So, if I go tab, journal, watch the tutorial. What? I didn't mean to go to journal. I wanted quest log. You can discover collectible pieces of lore scattered throughout the explorable areas. Collect lore entries, and they can be viewed in this menu. Categorized by location, new sections will be added as new locations are discovered. View a list of lore rewards by pressing this button. By collecting lore scattered throughout the exploration areas, you'll earn lore points. When enough points have been earned, you can claim lore rewards, which grant rune shards to enable runes. Jesus. Too much. Too much text. Quests, quests, quests. Wait. What's the... Where's the quest log? Tutorial on how to use this menu, yes. Oh, oh, that's the tutorial. Oh, oh, I can rewatch the tutorial. Okay, that's T. But where the shit is my quest log right now? I'm blind. Hold on. I must be blind. System, bestiary, fishing, and enchantment. Enchantment equipment. Enchanting equipment allows you to add special permanent buffs to them. And it's a great way to gain the upper hand in combat. Once the, an enchantment recipe is known, it'll appear in the grid. Oh yeah. Enchantments can be applied to weapons and armor. Additionally, you can infuse items to increase their rarity and base stats. 
After you select the enchantment or infusion, you must then specify which weapon or armor in your inventory you would like to apply it to. These are required ingredients to create successful enchantments and infusions. When enchanting, you may adjust the quantity of each ingredient above and below the required amount. When doing this, you will see the success chance meter increase and decrease. Attempting to enchant an item with fewer ingredients has both a chance for success as well as failure. If the enchantment fails, you will keep the weapons or armor but lose the ingredients. Alternatively, you may overflow the ingredients well beyond the requirements to guarantee success. The more ingredients you overflow, the higher guaranteed enchantment rarity as well. New enchantments and fusions will be discovered as you explore. Be sure to come back often to power up your gear. I'm pressing all the buttons to try and find the quest log. I, I know it's somewhere. I know it's like, I, I saw it somewhere. Is it maybe in equipment? No, what the hell? Yes, watch the tutorial. Champions can equip five types of equipment, weapon, armor, necklace, ring, and trinket. Combination of equipment is crucial to the overall stat and power output of each champion. Attack power measures the champion's power, increases the effectiveness of damage heals and damage shields. Every point of will grants 10 mana. Every point of stamina grants five health. Physical defense will reduce the amount of physical damage taken. Magic defense, amount of magic damage taken. Critical damage represents the amount of damage a character will deal on critical hit. Crit is crit rating. Increases the chance for champion to score a critical hit, dealing additional damage with attacks. As a champion's level increases, more critical rating is required to achieve 1%. Increasing haste will reduce the time necessary to perform certain abilities and increase how often a character can act. As a champion's level increases, more haste rating is required to achieve a percentage increase. Evade will increase the chance for a champion to dodge attacks, completely negating damage from it. As a champion's level increases, more is required. Okay, lifesteal will heal the character for percentage damage dealt. Equipment items have a level value. It's a good way to quickly locate higher, more powerful items. To equip an item, select the associated slot, then navigate the item grid. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. Offers regeneration to its wearer. 10 health each turn. Cool. Hmm. I honestly don't know where... I put the quest log. <laughs> I, I lost it somewhere. I don't know how I lost it. I'm sure someone knows. I'm just not that person. Uh, maybe I can't open it right now. I mean, he said something about... Like, I'll come back for it. I'll come back for it. I don't know. He said something about uh, to the north, and then I spoke to the guy at the north, it was the vendor, and then he said something about the south. Is it C? No, C doesn't do anything. God waves his hand. This is Sarah Fortune's private vessel. Riff raff aren't allowed, he says. That's a massively long section to run along to get to the charming lady. Oh, on the map screen. Ah, there's the quest log. Oh my god, thank you so much. Wow. Got it. Okay, side quests. These are bounties, these are side quests. Talk with the locals about the murder. He wants me to talk to Lenny near the bridge north of the bounty board for clues. Dude, I, I missed that guy. This is Lenny. Hmm. I feel like this was north, but maybe I'm wrong. Here, maybe. Bounty board north. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Maybe it's this way. Maybe that's Lenny. That must be Lenny. 
Ah, how's the day finding you, man? Says leaning against the post. Are you Lenny? That'll be me, yes. Whatever you heard, it isn't true. <laughs> if I can be of service, my ears are open. Okay, so uh, do you know anything about the murder of Longshoreman Alex? Alex? Oh, Al he stops and ponders for a few seconds. No, I don't know any Alex. A murder, you say? You sounded like you were about to say something. Ah, yes, it seems I was mistaken, he says. He steals a glance at a nearby street vendor as he speaks. Why did you look at that street vendor? Hmm. Him? Oh. Then he leans in and lowers his voice. Look, I didn't want to say anything, but yeah, I did see it. That guy right there is Barry. The man is a butcher, through and through. Now, what do you think will happen if I told old innocent Owen that Barry butchered his brother? Owen's going to get visions of glory in his head and run headlong into Barry's knife. Now both brothers are dead. Owen should hear the truth. Uh, do you have any idea why a dock worker would be murdered? Why is there reason for anything? Oh my god. Is this one of those situations where you have to make a choice that actually sort of, uh, you know, affects the outcome? Yeah, Owen should hear the truth. No need to get them both killed. Alex's luck has run out, but that don't mean Owens has to too. Thanks, Lenny. Sometimes the best thing to say is nothing, he says. He nods, dismissing the further conversation. Maybe I can just speak to Barry first and get a, like, happy outcome here. Rumor is that you killed Alex. Flash of anger quickly streaks across his face, but is replaced with an open-mouthed smile. Well, people have creative imaginations in this town, don't they? I never met an Alex. So what you're saying is just pure nonsense to me. His jaw clenches. Now stop spreading those lies around my booth or something bad's going to happen, he says. His gaze unwavering. Hmm. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just going to go and tell him. It's whatever, man. If he dies, then he dies. Then maybe we can expose the guy in the process. Wait, what? I don't get it. I did it. Darren near the shipyard and Lenny. Oh, okay, I need to speak to Darren first. Oh shit, he's down here. Damn, okay. Boathouses, Buru Grotto, Grey Harbor, Blockade, and Bounty Board. This way is Salvage Yard and Slums. What? I've had a long day taking a rest. What is this? You love me. Do they tell any stories of you, the great Buru Truth Bearer? I am but one of many Truth Bearers. There are no stories of me that I know. What of you? Do they tell your stories in the Thrall Yard? <laughs> of course they do. It is good to have myths, legends. The Thrall Yard, oh, it is a land full of legends. Ah, that's kind of cool. That they just have those out in the world that you can click on. And I mean, I guess you can ignore that if you're not interested. I don't know why you'd ever ignore that. A plunder crab scuttles around on the deck, out in the open. No one seems to mind. A plunder crab. What is this? Does that take us under? There's a fishing spot. What is this? This must be Lenny. No, uh... What's his noodle? Darren. Rather intense man surveys the remains of a beached ship. Most... Of that is too waterlogged to salvage. We waited too long to haul it in, he says to himself. Are you Darren? I am. And you are? Uh, shit. Let's go Braum. Braum. Look like you're from the frail yard. Guessing the ice cap you rode in on here <laughs> melted. Never heard of you. But you've heard of me. What's your business here, he says. His surliness is personified. 
You know anything about the murder of the longshoreman Alex? Is there a lot of violence around the harbor in general? Now let's ask about this. Alex doesn't ring a bell. Don't even know the name of most of the employees. So maybe I'm not the best person to ask. Is there a lot of violence here? Always. This is Bilgewater after all. People that don't like it, the law, like Bilgewater. Okay, so we found him dead. Any idea what could have happened? Maybe it was some kind of gang initiation. One thing goes wrong, tempers flare up, suddenly someone gets hurt. Happens all the time. That'll be my measure of things. Thanks, Darren. Do with that what you will. I have other matters to attend to, he says, and turns away to refocus on the ship being salvaged. So, that sucked. I wonder if I could have gotten a better response. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it, obviously, but it it would have been, you know, better if I had gotten more, because I didn't get shit from him. Getting a lot of crafting materials here. Probably for the enchanting stuff. So I can still go down this way and that way and wow dude. I'm gonna go and speak to the guy quickly and finish the side quest. Hello. I think I know who did it. Alex got into a fight at the vendor burying nearby stall. It was the wrong person to mess with. He's always hot headed. I told him. I warned him. Even when we were kids, he never learned. That because he was angry, that don't make him right. He looks defeated. He can barely look another person in the eye. Well, I suppose thanks are in order. Even though I don't feel any better, maybe I'll sleep better having known what happened. I believe this is yours. He hands over a sack of coins. Wish it could be more, but we were just longshoremen. What will you do now? I didn't think he was the type to seek revenge. Oh, I didn't think I was the type to seek revenge, but after what you said, who it was. Just seeing him there, getting to walk around makes my blood boil. His fists and jaws are clenched. Don't do something stupid, man. I better see the body. Uh, see to the body. Give it a proper sea burial, he says. Okay, so he's going to do something stupid. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, well, you know, whatever. We'll come back here later and then the world will evolve. Because that seems like that kind of game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to warn this guy. I can't. I can't warn this guy. Wow. I can save the game. That's good. 